Well, guys, it's finally here. I just, I don't, I'm so scared to click on it, to be honest, just because this is the last trailer. It's the last trailer reaction. It's the last trailer for The Walking Dead, the final season. It's the last trailer for Clementine's story. It's the last trailer of anything Telltale ever again. And it's going to be my last trailer reaction. So many lasts. Oh my god. I, I ah, my god. How long is this thing? A minute three? I think it says a minute three. I'm kind of far away from my... Ah, hang on. Let me go full screen. What am I doing? Alright, though. Let's do this. I'm so not ready. And go full screen again. <sighs> I don't want to play it. Oh my God. I gotta do this. It's like ripping off a band aid. The aftermath of the explosion. Never mind the oh, Violet Song! Never James was alive there. The Minerva survived. Never I'm gonna kill her. But that's not Violet's voice actress singing it. That might be Minerva singing it. Why is Minerva helping us? Violet? Lily, if she's alive? Shit. Yeah, that's definitely Minerva's voice actress singing it. Yay! Clueless. Shit. Oh no 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 That better not have been implying what I thought. I'm going back to that last shot before the date. Not this one. Damn it! Just a little bit too far. There we go. Okay, that's clearly Clementine's hand reaching out for AJ on some rocks. Now, if we all remember the take us back uh, menu picture. It's Clementine's hat on some rocks along a river. That's what Take Us Back's uh, menu picture thing is in the game. So it these are like the rocks, obviously, but what is happening that's possibly causing what is Clem's hand to be reaching out for what looks to be AJ's hand? Is she in danger? Is she... I don't know. I'm just... I, I, your mind's racing because you know this is the last episode of Clementine ever. And she could possibly die here. She could possibly die. And I am not... I'm not prepared for that. I'm not prepared. I'm just going to let you know I'm not prepared for that. And... Shit. Shit. God damn it, I... People have been speculating. It might be a choice if she dies. It like it based on your choices. It might be determinant, you know, on what you do throughout the game or what you make in this final episode. Like the some are speculating. I don't think this would be a good idea just because there's been so many binary choices in this game already. Uh, a simple save AJ, sacrifice yourself, or save yourself, Clementine, possibly leave AJ to die. I I don't see that happening. I don't think that'd be a smart move on their part just because, you know, I think a lot of people would, even if they like AJ, would obviously save Clementine because this is fucking Clem, who we've, you know, known since 2012, seven years ago. Holy shit, I feel old. But, um, so yeah, I don't see that being the thing in this episode. If Clem were to be made determinant, I don't see that at least that scenario, not ruling out that she could possibly be, uh, possibly be determinant, but I don't think that's how it would play out if she were to be. Uh, and it's, I would see it more as a collective amount of choices that you make, whether they be in this episode or in previous episodes or a combination of both, because there were, in previous episodes, we did have um, Clem saying to AJ, like in the last episode, Clem saying to AJ, if I were to get bit, 
um, you'll have to kill me. Uh, we've had mentionings of Clem, what Clem did to Lee, especially back in the beginning of episode two, saying, like, I killed him to end his suffering. And then you had the Walker couple in the train station who chose to be alone, or chose to be left alone as Walkers, and Clem can either sit, kill him or not. And those are the instances where you really see that it's the notification of your choices shape AJ come up. And that's what I'm worried. Like, they're going to do a somewhat similar thing to if Clem is dying to what happened with Lee in season one if you actually stay silent. So what happens in season one is if you stay silent as Lee, when you tell, uh, when the option comes up for telling Clem to either shoot him or leave him, if you stay silent, what Clem does is entirely based upon the decisions that you made throughout the game. So, like, if you made a certain amount of decisions, Clem will decide to shoot you out of mercy, and if you made some other decisions, Clem will just leave you to die and turn into a walker. Um, and then, of course, no matter what you choose, Lee brings up one of the references, one of the previous choices that he made throughout the game as a justification for why he wants her to do that specific action. But um, that's how I see it playing out if Clem is to become being is to be determined. Let's go back through this trailer, see if I miss anything. Not a hell of a lot, understandable. Big spoiler is in regards to this possible final episode. So not a lot is revealed cinematically. It looks fine, but not too much in terms of scenes. Only like one or two scenes of Lewis and Violet in this, and both of them look to be in the situations where if you save them over the other. So it looks like that Violet scene is going to be uh, like Clem holding Violet's hand, that's obviously going to probably be if you save Violet. Not saying if you romance Violet, but if you save Violet, because Violet's not on good terms with you if you in the, if you save Lewis. And then, of course, the Lewis hug, it didn't look like he was missing his tongue in that one, so that's probably in the save Lewis route. But um, let's go back through this. Is it playing? It is not playing. God damn it. This is disaster so far so the disaster of the boats somehow clementine ends up on shore actually that's a thing i just remembered i don't think there was was there a single shot in this trailer of clementine with her hat on i don't think there was a single shot in the trailer of clem with her hat on yeah that's definitely minerva's voice actress sharon lay or sharon lay whatever her voice was uh, definitely was not Violet. Violet was not. And I think that's a pretty interesting decision to go with in the trailer. A good one. I think it was really good because, honestly, that was a very touching uh, song in Episode 3. And one of my favorite moments from the game so far was um, either Lewis playing the piano to uh, Don't Be Afraid, I believe the name of the song was, which is also one of the last things Lee can say to Clem. Um, so it's either Lewis plays the piano or Violet sings. But it was, I believe, Lewis's, uh, one of the lines in the song, in the game was, Lewis played the piano and then Violet or Minerva sung it. I think it was Minerva sung it, but Violet shows to sing it in her version of the story. So, interesting to have Minerva, as a voice actress, actually sing it. And we're in some sort of cave, it looks like. Never mind the storm. Minerva survived the shooting, Never the explosion. Walker's coming. Yeah, that herd's not uh, looking good right now. Um, not, a, not a good decision to use a herd for cover, I guess. Um, so here we have Minerva. Before that, we had Minerva killing one of the walkers. Unclear is it if she's doing that to protect herself, or unclear if she's actually trying to help someone, possibly Violet, or maybe Clementine. I highly doubt that because Minerva is... She's dead to me. I'm going to kill her. I don't care. And here we have a picture of Clem... Now, she's got the stab wound right up here on her, yeah, it's on the right side, on, the, on her chest. This is only in the, I believe that only happens in the, in the Lewis route where she has the stab wound. I might be wrong on that. In the Save Lewis route, she gets stabbed a bit, pierces the skin from Minerva before, Vi, uh, before Lewis goes for the bow, accident, uh, kills Dorian, in which case that distracts Minerva and Clem knocks her the fuck out. Ah, oh, that brought me great joy when I played that. But, um, so that's that outcome. We had a picture of James earlier. Um, so that's his route. Is if you chose to kill Lily. The night will be over. So this is what I was talking about with the Violet. 
Oh, uh, don't tell me you're gonna do this. Oh god. You see, that was always one of my concerns with um with uh you know, with the if in the romance violet route. It was a kind of, it was somewhat not a huge reason, but it was somewhat of a factor when it came to making my decision as to Lewis or Violet, is if Minerva was alive, this would obviously create some sort of love triangle. And based on how the trailer is shot and edited, it looks like that's what they're doing, because that looked like the romance violet route and now Minerva looks jealous or something. I, please do not throw that in. I don't need a love triangle thrown in the last fucking episode. Then again it doesn't matter to me because I said I romance and save Lewis, so you know, it doesn't matter. Rush away your sorrow. I'm using the bow. Yeah, she still doesn't have her head on. Oh no, she does have her. Wait a minute. Okay, she does have her head on here. But that might not be present day, Clint. This might be the ranch. I don't know if it is or not. She just something about her look here looks different than what we've seen so far in the final season. It looks a little bit younger, maybe more towards how she looked in A New Frontier. Well, not graphically wise, but, you know, in regards to her face, it looks a bit younger than what it is in the final season. This might be dealing with the ranch, so we still don't know fully what happened at the ranch. It's going to be revealed in this episode as to what happened. Um... Still no idea, but whatever it is, it prevents AJ from having people sneak up behind him. And it's given them both some trauma, as the last episode really hammered into us. I have nothing to say to this, just clueless. <laughs> Alright. I wonder why we're in this cave. Like, go back a bit. Um, we're in some sort of cave, it looks like, for a good chunk of this episode. Um, some sort of cave, probably near where the boat exploded. We're gonna, it looks like we're spending a lot of time in this cave. I don't know exactly what we'd be doing in this cave, other than trying to escape, but James is here, AJ's here, Ten is here, so Ten survived. Well, James is only there if, you know, if you killed Liv Lily. Um... I don't know what to add to that. I don't remember seeing Minerva in any of these shots within the cave, so that makes me think that Minerva is not on our side and Minerva is actually kind of against us. In at least my route. Maybe if I saved Violet, Violet could, or maybe in regards to one of the choices with Violet, it might convince her to help us. I don't know. It, it'd be interesting to see how this plays out in regards to the various uh, differences in the game. Uh, if I saw that correctly, that was AJ dangling over a bridge. I don't feel comfortable with that. Yeah, that's AJ dangling over a bridge of walkers. Oh, a okay, so she is wearing her hat. She does get her hat back. I was wrong. This is definitely in the present day, so she's got her hat. Don't need to worry. I guess she just finds it later on in the episode. So, fear assuaged. <sighs> yep, so that's it. The finale will be out on March 26th. That is next Tuesday, and that will be it for The Walking Dead. That will be it for Telltale. That will be it for Clementine, and that will probably be it for my YouTube channel, too. <sighs> that's... It's, it's emotional. I'm not... I'm going to try and prepare as much as I can, but I've been doing that for the last few months, and I just am not ready for it. To think this was supposed to be over back in December. This should have been over with a Telltale not fucked up royally, and, you know, Kevin Brunner didn't screw up the company. Ah, oh boy, I'm just... I'm not ready, man. <laughs> I'm at the Plain and simple, I'm not. I could go into a long spiel about how I'm not ready, but, um, you know... Facts don't care about your feelings. I'm, uh, gotta accept. This is it for Clem. And as much as I'm dreading it, I'm also really looking forward to it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to watch my episode 4 playthrough. Take us back. We'll be out March 26th. Hope to get the episode up, at least most of it up, on that day. Join me as we say one final goodbye to Clementine.